Hi, I'm Naomi from 52Create and I won the raffle challenge, yay! <laughs> and as my tutorial I thought rather than taking through the whole quilt I would just talk to you about how I did the ruffles. Ruffling is completely new to me and after a bit of research I found a really quick method that's brilliant so I thought I'd share that with you through a video because I thought it might be a bit easier than step-to-step -step photographs. So first of all you want to, I use t-shirt material because you can cut it and you can see it doesn't fray at all, which is great. Um, so cut it into strips or whatever size you want or whatever you're ruffling, really doesn't matter. But I'm using strips like I used on the quilt. Um, so this is what the one I had. I think it was an inch and a half wide. So that's step one. Okay, so the next thing you'll want to do is set, change the settings on your sewing machine. So here's my trusted friend. And you want to firstly check you're on a straight stitch and not on a, a zigzag. You want to then change the length of your stitch to the to the longest possible. And then if you come inside, you want to find your tension dial. So this is mine here. It's usually on four or five. And you want to move that all the way up to the highest. Mine being nine here. Um, so your tension dial is on the highest setting, number nine. You've got a straight stitch and you've got the longest stitch possible and then you are ready to go. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you have a lot of thread at the back before you even start. So good, pull a good stretch out. This is because if you want to alter your ruffle, so make it less roughly or more roughly, you're going to be playing with this thread. You're going to be needing some of it. It'll be obvious later when I show you. So just make sure you've got a good stretch there. And then you simply stitch, no back stitching. So you just do a straight stitch. Um, so bear with me. So you just feed that through the machine, and you can see already here that that is got a nice little ruffle in it and just calm up and then again just give yourself a really good stretch of thread there okay before you cut it okay so now you have your ruffled uh, stretch of fabric and you may decide actually I'd like this more roughly and so what you do here this is why I use two different colored threads just so that you would be able to distinguish um, the coral is the bobbin and the the white was the stitching thread and then if you just pull so I'm holding onto the white thread here onto the top stitch and if you just pull can you see it's gathering it up and then you get a really tight ruffle or you can decide to actually I don't want it quite that roughly so you can just play around with it then and just get the desired ruffle effect you like um, and you can and you can pull that all the way down to the end. See, look, I can make that a nice tight little ruffle there. And this is why, if you wanted to make it much less roughly, you're going to be pulling it all the way out, which is why you want that extra bit of thread to play with. So when you've decided on the 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 ruffliness of your fabric, so let's say I'll go with that. You then just tie tie that in a knot there and then tie the knot at the other end and then that won't move and then you're safe to play around with it, stitch it on, twist it up, do whatever you like with it but it's, I, when I figured that out I was really pleased because the thought of hand ruffling oh it just thrilled me with dread but this is as you can see really quick and it's really great you can manipulate it to how roughly you like. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial just always remember, because I did this actually quite a few times whilst making the quilt, to change your tension and your thread length back once you've done the ruffling. You will notice because everything will pucker up. Um, so just always keep in mind when you come back to your machine to change your settings back. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's really encouraged you to do some ruffle projects. I'm really, I was stuck with this theme, but I'm really glad that... Um, that I had to do a ruffle challenge because now I actually do love ruffles. <laughs> so, yay! <laughs> and lastly, thank you everyone for your votes. I'm loving being part of So You Think You're Crafty. Tough, 
but really fun and really challenging. So thank you once again. Bye.